The Granger administration took it upon itself to conduct audits in various agencies, given the high level of suspicion that the PPP was playing more foul than fair during their time in office. Some of these audits are completed and contained damning revelations to support the very suspicion. The remaining audits are nearing their completion, but there continues to be the feeling that guilty persons are not being brought before the courts soon enough. There are concerns that the police are ill-equipped and poorly resourced to manage the level of investigation and the possible subsequent prosecutions that the findings will bring. Acknowledging this, President Granger is expressing that his government is already considering acquiring additional help. We realize that there may be resource problems within the police force. There are two major areas. The one is called SOCU, the Special Organized Crimes Unit, and there is another uh, fraud squad, I think it's called, within the CID. We are intent on having more uh, investigators and trained investigators. The president said while a decision has not yet been made on whether these persons will be drawn from foreign fields, his preference is to engage Guyanese who are competent and honest. President Granger said, however, it does not mean that he's completely against foreign help. He relayed another option that will see retirees returning to work. Um, we have even um, considered the possibility of hiring persons who are retired because, you know, members of the public service in Guyana are obliged to retire at a ridiculously young age, 55. And we think that people um, who have been retired but who are competent and honest could be um, re-employed. Separately, the head of state relayed his government's intention to work with the United States government to engage Roger Khan, should the need arise. We need to have a lawful and orderly society. And whoever is accused of committing murders will have to face the law. I'm not um, accusing anybody, but wherever those leads take us, we will follow to make sure justice is done. The United States government indicated to the Guyanese administration that should the Guyana government require access to Roger Khan, it will be provided. Khan has been fingered in several illegal activities, and investigations into these, including those murders of post-2002, will soon begin, according to the president. George, there's a feeling that that's when heads will truly begin to roll.